Hey, what's up everyone? Jeff Kinder here, and we are back with another video. This time, this is going to be an Arkanoid cabinet. We are converting this cabinet into an Arkanoid. Uh, it looks like it was a Pac-Man, but it actually was a uh, Galaxian. Uh, I could tell by the white around the uh, coin door area, and you can see some of the original Galaxian art underneath that paint. So the cabinet was stripped down uh, and gutted. So what I'm going to do is uh, fix some of the areas. There's some chunks missing out of the bottom, bottom corner down there, and just some areas that we're starting to delaminate. Uh, so we're gonna bondo wall that up, and then we're gonna sand the front down, sand the insides down, bondo up any, uh, any holes. It looks like it had a lock bar here, or something like that. Uh, so we're gonna sand that all down, bondo that up both sides on the other side too. And uh, we are going to put the custom Arkanoid uh, artwork on from Zabo's Arcade. Uh, it's a really cool art package. Uh, when I first saw it, I fell in love with it. So um, I always wanted to uh, have that artwork on a cabinet and I never had an Arkanoid before. So now is the time. Uh, so that's gonna be the project. I'm gonna uh, set up the camera right now and start sanding. All right, so I have uh, all three sides bondoed. Let me stand up the cabinet and we'll uh, take a look at it. So this side I uh, worked on a little bit last night after uh, I turned the camera off. Um, I sanded a little bit and got this uh, bonded up. It's pretty good, bondoed up. Uh, bottom corner still needs a little bit of work, so I'm working on that. Uh, but uh, overall, it's pretty good. Front, I got that uh, the uh, laminate stri uh, vinyl stripped off and gave it its first coat of bondo. And this side here, I just tell there was a couple of nails that were uh, the camera was put together with nails 
So there's a few nails that were sticking out. So I had to hammer those back in. And um, yeah, it's, uh, it's looking pretty good. So this is gonna dry. Um, the front is dried because I uh, did that last night. Um, but it's still a little, uh, it's still a little too early to say I'm outside and neighbors are, uh, neighbors' houses are close by. So I don't want to, uh, wake anybody up. It's still a little too early to sand. So I'm going to let all the Bondo dry for about, uh, an hour or so. And then, uh, I will, uh, start sanding. Uh, and then I'll put a second coat of Bondo on where it's needed and then sand that and then uh, clean it up and then we will paint the insides area black. Uh, I sanded that down. I didn't sand it all the way down. I just, any of the, you know, where the paint was flaking. So I sanded that off and just feathered it back. But when I go over it with black spray paint, um, it's going to look fine. You won't even see it. Um, so yeah, I'll do all that and get this baby ready. Hopefully I'll be able to be Saturday today. Hopefully I'll have it ready by the end of the day. And tomorrow morning I could put the art on it. So we'll see how it goes. All right, so we're back. Uh, it's now Sunday morning. I moved the cabinet up to my parents' house. I finished it yesterday. Uh, got everything all sanded, bondoed and sanded both sides and the front. I sprayed the insides of the cabinet black. So this is ready for artwork. <clears throat> so next what I'm going to do is uh, lay the cabinet on its side and take some measurements and figure out where the be best position uh, for this artwork goes. And uh, yeah, we'll get this artwork applied. So I'm gonna set up the camera and get to work.
and just like that, the artwork is on. Uh, I am real happy with how this came out. It looks really, really good. I, I just, uh, this is just such amazing looking uh, custom art that uh, Zavos Arcade did. Really, really happy with how it looks. So, what's up next is, let's see, we're going to do the T-molding. Uh, you know, I'm usually not a fan of colored T-molding. I usually always go with black or what was originally on the cabinet. Um, but I'm thinking, I don't know, I, I think maybe... I think maybe light blue or the darker blue tea molding. Uh, I don't know. I'll have to, I mean, there's yellow and there's red and green. There's all the colors are on this, but I'm, I'm, for some reason I'm thinking maybe dark blue or light blue, probably dark blue because there's a lot of dark blue uh, on this, uh, you know, on the artwork. So I don't know. I'll try dark blue or whatever blue, whatever blue I could find. But yeah, T-molding, uh, and then we're going to start wiring it up. Um, I have the JAMA, adapt, uh, JAMA harness and uh, adapter, I guess. I can't. I don't know if it was JAMA or not. I don't know. I have something, some kind of adapter. Um, maybe it was Tato harness, and I have a, jam, a JAMA adapter. But yeah, I'll uh, put the JAMA harness in, get it all wired up, and uh, monitor installed, marquee, marquee... Uh, you know, the control panel, uh, that'll be uh, probably in the next video. Um, but yeah, this is uh, where we're at now, so stay tuned. And uh, I'll probably finish this video up in part two. <laughs> All right, we are back. And, well, I have to apologize. I thought there was going to be another piece to this video of me putting all the pieces in the game, in the back, putting the monitor in, installing it, doing the control panel overlay. But honestly, while I was working on this, this series, this video series, um, I, I started to have some serious um, video editing software issues that led into some computer issues. And uh, I got so frustrated with filming this thing that I just uh, I thought I was going to abandon the, the entire video. Um, and then uh, I was able to do some upgrades to the computer and get the software working again. Uh, but at that point in time, after I got, it, <clears throat> after I got everything working again, uh, I had already put the, you know, did the wiring harness and put everything inside the cabinet. So I don't, I wasn't obviously filming because I thought I was just going to abandon this whole project. But anyway, uh, so I apologize for that. But as you can see, the cabinet is done. Uh, like, you know, the last video we did the side art and it came out just, just amazing. I really, really love the side art on this game. Uh, the whole art package, Joe Zabo did just an amazing, amazing job on this art package. Um, so that is all complete. I went with the uh, blue tea molding. I thought that looked appropriate for the game. I really liked the way that came out. Um, in the back, I just, you know, the cabinet itself had a monitor. It was a Geo 7. I rebuilt the monitor, you know, new cap kit, um, flyback, B+. Uh, I put all new pots on the neck board and the main board. Um, in this, you know, this, this cabinet, I didn't, you know... I, this, you know, could have been a Tato harness, but, you know, uh, I just went with a JAMA harness just because this was like a, you know, this was a Galaxian cabinet. Uh, so I wasn't going to go crazy with trying to get a Tato harness or anything like that. So just went with a JAMA harness with the uh, JAMA adapter. And I did my, this is whenever I do a cabinet that I'm just, you know, just a one-off cabinet that I'm using a JAMA harness in. This is my typical, how I lay it out, you know, power supply and I do everything Pretty much, they all look identical. I do the same thing, which I try to keep everything as neat looking as possible. All the wiring, you know, as neat as as neat as I can get it looking, and I think that looks nice. But anyway, so that's uh, the back of the cabinet there. But uh, yeah, the project is definitely complete. I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. Um, so this is going to be the end of this video. Um, I really, you know, it's funny. I don't have another. Um, Another project on deck that I'm thinking about doing, uh, I was working on this cabinet here. This is a uh, Space Firebird. I picked this up uh, a couple, I don't know, a couple weeks ago. It was really dirty. It wasn't working right. Uh, so I've been just kind of restoring this. Um, you know, this uh, I replaced the bottom piece of wood down there. It was all water damaged and chewed up. 
So I pulled the piece of wood off, put a new piece on that's black vinyl on there. Um, repainted the you know coin door. I still got to put the uh, the coin uh, returns in there. Uh, the overlay, the original overlay was all uh, was a uh, big, big tear, and it was all rusted, so I just put a repro overlay on it. But I put a new piece of plexi on it, new T-molding, cleaned up the uh, marquee, you know, Novus de marquee. And, uh, you know, it's the cabinet cleaned up pretty good. It has some water damage on the bottom, you can see down along the bottom. I uh, had to put a new piece along the bottom. I got to paint that piece yet because that was really badly water damaged too. Uh, same thing, rebuilt the monitor. Uh, the board is out right now for repair. Um, but yeah, this is what I was just kind of working on in the interim. Again, I wasn't filming anything because I thought I wasn't going to be filming anymore. But hopefully all my video editing uh, issues, uh, software issues will are behind me. Uh, but yeah, so um, I don't know. Maybe I'll do another video. I'll take a video over at my storage and uh, just kind of show all the projects that are sitting over there. And then you guys can help me decide uh, what the uh, what the next project should be. Uh, but that's it. That's uh, that's going to be the end of this video. So thanks for watching and we'll talk to you soon.